This is Storm. She is a Siberian cat. Her coloring is Neva Masquerade with white. She does have blue eyes and I just adore her. I'd like to tell you my story. So I was born with really severe allergies, asthma and eczema, which is like allergies of the skin. And I was very, very sick as a child. I was deathly allergic to cats. I did have some interaction with cats when I was a child and I loved them. I just adored them. My grandmother had some cats on her farm and when I'd go visit, we could see the baby kittens that were just born and I'd try to interact with them, but I'd also always get sick right after. So I started researching about hypoallergenic cats. I stumbled upon Siberian cats, the breed that, that is Storm. And there's a lot of information on the internet about how they're hypoallergenic. And a lot of people wonder, is this true? Is this just a rumor? And I wanted to explain it a little bit based on my personal experience. So, yes, don't worry me. So, no cat, no animal can be 100% allergen free. Allergens are the little proteins and particles on the animal from their saliva and their fur and their skin oils that can provoke any human who has allergies to have a reaction. Storm needed a little break. She's not very interested in hearing my story. <laughs> She's heard it before. So I got this Siberian cat. Uh, she is now seven months old. I got her four months ago and my allergies and asthma have not worsened at all, which I feel like it's actually a, a miracle that we can have a cat in our home. We are so happy to have her. She's so much fun. Um, she really is a good companion. And we all enjoy petting her every day, playing with her, and just spending time snuggling with her. The hypoallergenic cat theory is not a rumor. It is true, but you do need to proceed with caution. I would recommend that you go visit some Siberian cat breeders first before you are ready to purchase anything and do your research thoroughly. Talk it over with your doctor as well. Make sure that you've got good medication uh, on board. You know, your medication regimen is on point before you even go visit the catteries. When you visit the cat breeders homes, they're usually extremely welcoming and nice people. Try to pet the kittens as well as a couple of adults. I did visit five catteries before I found my baby girl and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to be allergic to this cat breed. And each cattery that I visited had numerous cats and I didn't have any reaction. So I was extremely ecstatic. And now we have our little kitten. Soon I'm going to also be getting a male and he's coming in July being flown over from Russia and they will be mates and hopefully we'll have our first litter by the end of this year. Please be sure to click the like button and subscribe so you can get updates about our upcoming litter. And please see my website at magicsiberians.com and reach out to me, contact me either through YouTube here, you can leave a comment or message me, or you can reach me through my website to get put onto the wait list so that you too can have a magic Siberian in your home.